Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today, I'll be doing an update video of a video I made a while back on setting up a Wi-Fi security camera through a glass window. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it down below. If you are new to security cameras, especially Wi-Fi cameras, this is the simplest setup you can do, and you don't even have to drill holes or climb up ladders. Most indoor Wi-Fi cameras can be set up and be able to detect motion through the glass except for all battery-powered ones and any camera that uses a PIR sensor for motion detection. Because heat sensing, which is how the PIR or passive infrared detection works, doesn't work when it is behind glass. All battery-powered Wi-Fi cameras uses this sensor, and you can identify them with a half-dome Fresnel lens in the front of the camera, or a soft dark plastic area on cameras like the Arlo and Ring battery-powered ones. If your camera needs to be plugged in, most likely it will be able to work and detect motion when it is behind glass. In today's video, I'll show you several more camera options that you can use aside from the Wise Cam, which is what I've shown in my first video. And I'll show the video quality day and night and its motion alert notification speed. These cameras also have person detection, which will help a lot in accurate detection and minimizing false alerts. Also, I'll be using a solar light to help the camera see at night, and you don't have to charge the batteries like the overlight in my older video. Plus, the Lightom solar light that we'll use is weatherproof and design-wise will look better outside your window. This setup that I'll show you will mostly use double-sided mounting tape, command tape, or Velcro adhesive strips to mount the camera shelf and the solar light that we will be using. So this setup is ideal for apartments, houses, and properties that you are limited or not allowed to drill holes or screw in screws on the walls. This is a pretty easy setup. First, light setup. We have to turn off the infrared LEDs on these cameras so that you're not going to get infrared glare at night. But for the camera to be able to see at night with its infrared LEDs turned off, then you need to at least put some lighting outside, either with porch lights, manually turned on, or use dust to dawn or motion activated lights. You can also use an infrared illuminator, but nobody is making battery or solar powered ones yet. So I will not test this option in this video. In my first video, I recommended the overlight, which is battery powered. It works pretty good, but you do need to change the batteries and it is not really weatherproof. Today, I'll show you another option, which you will not need to change the batteries, and that will be solar motion activated lights. I've used solar lights for a while now and I made several videos about it, which I'll also link down below. I'll be using the 140 LED Lightom solar lights, which Lightom has sent to me to check out. Thank you, Lightom. I like that these lights are not that big and also pretty light that we can easily install this on the window glass using double-sided mounting tape or Velcro strips. We will get to why Velcro later on. These lights have three modes. Mode 1 is that it is off until when it senses motion and it will light up in max intensity. Second mode is that it will turn on dim mode all night and when it senses motion, it will turn on max intensity. Third mode is it will light up in medium intensity at night but it will only last for 4 hours. I'll be using the first mode on this setup just to conserve battery life. But you can use mode 2 if your window and the light will have direct sunlight exposure so it will be properly charged in daytime. Dim mode can last up to 12 hours if the light was properly charged. My front door window though doesn't have full sunlight at any time of the day and this is the reason why I'll be installing this using velcro strips. So that I can remove it once in a while to get a full sunlight and let the batteries properly charged and can easily reinstall it. Now for the shelf, which I will link down below, is a speaker shelf that I got from Amazon. It uses command tape to stick it to the window. It is small enough to not be in the way with the blinds and big enough to hold any type of Wi-Fi camera. For the cameras, like in my first video, the Wisecam is a pretty good setup and its new person detection will minimize false motion alerts. The only issue I have with it though is that its notification is delayed. There is also a long cool-off of 5 minutes per motion alert notification. So first, we will be testing the motion alert notification speed of the Wise Cam uh, with the window through glass setup. So in here, I've set the uh, motion detection to person. Person detection turned on and all other motions are turned off. 
So let's check it out and I'm on my LTE connection. And with the Y scam, there is a delay. We'll just wait for the notification. Also, when you set up a uh, camera through the glass, make sure that the blinds are closed so that there's not gonna be a lot of glare. So we have the notification right here. And when you press and hold, you will see me just starting. I got detected way before I get got into the frame of the camera. So that's the uh, Wise Cam. Also, it has a five minute cool off. So if I'm still here and around, I'm not. There will be no more notifications until five minutes later. And there's my light. We will test that out later. I turned off the uh, the night vision and also I turned off the infrared. Uh, LED lights so those are two options that you can play with in the settings of the Y scan so this will be recording in full color so let's check it out I got my LTE connection I don't know if we can zoom that in my lights turning on my solar lights works as expected and the Y scan it will take a while before it will notify us of motion. See, and this one, there you go. I got notified. That took a while. So that's how 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 long it notifies me with a Y scam. And also there is a five minute cool off. So it's not gonna notify me again until five minutes later. Another option is the EasyVis C1C, which is a pretty good choice. And I have reviewed this and also compared this with the Wisecam, which I will link those videos in the description down below. What I like about the EasyVis is that aside from being able to turn off its infrared LEDs, it has faster alert notifications and also has human detection and less than a minute cool off. So it is pretty reliable in prompt motion detection and minimizing false motion events. So the next camera that we are going to test uh... Uh, camera through the window setup will be the EasyVis C1C and this one also has a human or person detection so let's check out uh, the alarm notification right here and turn it on and it says human shape or image change detection so I'll just go with the human shape detection and just for giggles we're gonna put a little siren in there let's do a soft Alarm. Let me see if we can hear it from the outside. Let's save that. Alright, so let's check it out. LTE connection. I heard it. And we'll get a notification here in a bit. There you go. Get got a notification. I don't know if you can hear it. I can hear it. And human detected, and then we'll show a snapshot. And you can do a playback also if you want to show the footage. And with the C1C, the only uh, option we have is that it, we can, will be able to turn off the infrared lights, which is a good thing but the night vision itself is set to automatic so at night when its light sensor senses that it's dark uh, the ambient lighting is uh, dark then it will change to uh, a black and white mode which is the night vision mode just without the infrared uh, lights so the infrared lights are turned off uh, but it's going to be in black and white mode so let's check it out let's test it out There you go, the light turned on. Lazy this. Now we got the notification. Check on that. Let's see. See, it's in black and white mode. 
but if we go to live view i bet it's be in full color nope it's still in black and white it's still in black and white it didn't change that's the only thing but it's still pretty clear <laughs> And another option would be Ring's indoor camera. Aside from being the cheapest camera being sold by Ring, you can also turn off its infrared LEDs and has color night vision, which you will get color recording at night, especially when there is ambient lighting. You do have to cover the blue status light on the front of the camera though, because if not, you will get a blue glare when the status light reflects on the window. Also, the Ring indoor cam is the fastest of all the cameras I've tested in notification. And cool off is less than a minute. It does have person detection also so that false notifications will be minimized. But with Ring, you need to have a subscription if you want to view recorded footage in the cloud. So another indoor camera that is perfect for through glass window setup would be the Ring indoor cam. Especially if you already have Ring products in your home. So I'm on my LTE connection. And let's check out the motion alert notification speed. got the notification what I did with this though there's a blue status light I put I covered it with a an electrical tape so that it's not gonna be have a glare especially at night so that's what it looks like so we are going to test the uh, ring indoor cam looking through the glass window set up in my front porch and let's see how it works and I'm on my LTE connection so let's check it out now this is with uh, all my lights on my front porch lights on and now you'll see it turned on that uh, I got the notification and also it turned on my solar light and this is how it looks like and I got my front porch lights on both of them and probably the best option at this time would be the UFI indoor cam I only have the pan and tilt version and when the regular model comes out I'll be testing it also but the video quality is way better because it is in 2k resolution and it does have person and pet detection. Night vision can be turned off which also turns off the infrared LEDs. So the next camera that we are going to test will be the UFI cam indoor camera. So I have the pan and tilt model. So I got the, it also has person detection, person and pets. So that I'm on my LTE connection. So let's check it out. There you go, I got a notification. So, good thing about the UFI is that this is a 2K uh, resolution camera. And they will also come out with the regular version, not the pan and tilt. And that will be a good choice for this setup also. I got my phone right here for notification. Uh, person detection turned on on the UFI uh, cam. The light turned on, so as you can see. And I get a notification right here in a little bit. There you go. So the UFI uh, notified me that there is a person on and the window there are other indoor cameras that can be used with this setup just make sure that you can turn off the infrared leds here are some tips to get the most of this camera through the glass window setup aside from turning off the camera's infrared lights keep the blinds closed and at night lights off inside the house will get you the clearest footage also try to get the camera lens as close as possible to the glass 
The solar light works pretty good with this setup. And with Velcro mounting, you can easily remove the light if needed if you want to place it and expose it to direct sunlight to fully charge the batteries. If the sun shines at least 2 hours in the window where you installed it, then a more permanent mounting tape install can be an option. So this string hack, you can remove the mounting tape from the lights and also even the shelf. Uh, if you want to remove it, use this. Just use the sewing, sewing movement so to cut off the uh, adhesive. Any questions, comment down below. Thanks for watching and I hope you liked this video. Please share and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. And click the bell icon so as to get notified when I upload updates and set up videos like this video, product reviews, comparison videos, and long-term reviews. Thank you.